Good morning, welcome back to the channel. I might be the Raven, and I'm a huge fan of horror movies. The best part about the horror movie genre is there is a lot of different types of movies, and sometimes my favorite kind to watch are the really low budget ones with just the weirdest concepts ever. And some of them are so entertaining to watch. One good example of this is the 2007 movie Thanks Killing. It is a little bit past Thanksgiving, I know, but I was a little busy with the holidays. And it is finally time for me to release my review on Thanks Killing. Now, for those who have not seen the movie, it is literally the wackiest shit possible and they do it kind of on purpose the budget is only like three thousand five hundred dollars and they really capitalize on the fact that this movie is just bad shit and should not be made but they make it work by capitalizing on the fact that they know it's not supposed to be good the movie is about a killer turkey who comes back a part of a very convoluted course, kind of parodying a lot of horror movie tropes. And he goes and targets a group of teens, also parodying different horror movie tropes. Where like we got the naughty one, we got the jock, we got the dumb one, and so forth. But of course, before we can get to our characters, this movie starts off with Somebody running through the woods in what is clearly a Halloween costume of a pilgrim. The movie just starts off with this girl just out, just running through the woods. The turkey kills her and proclaims, nice tits, bitch. Nice tits, bitch. And that's basically the quips you get throughout this entire movie. A lot of jokes like that. And you get jokes like a turkey flavored condom and stuff in the movie. It's a lot of weird humor, but at least it's consistent <laughs> with the weirdness. Getting back to our characters though, they are going on break for the holidays. And so they are all trying to get home. One brings around the friend who I guess they never really met before. His name is Darren on the car ride. He proclaims that he is going to fuck somebody in the car for no apparent reason. He doesn't even get to by the end of the movie, so kind of sucks for him. I don't know why they had to add that in the movie. There's a lot of things that they didn't need to add in the movie, so I don't get why that one I'm nitpicking. But basically, they're going on the way home. You get a little bit of each character to just show how much they are the stereotypes. Meanwhile... You get this hillbilly guy and his dog, who, whose name I believe is Lassie. Lassie ends up pissing on the turkey who is coming back. The turkey kills Lassie and that starts this little side plot of this hillbilly coming in and out of the movie. And that's basically is his main job is just to walk up with the shotgun and leave basically. Getting back to the main plot though, their car breaks down on the way home and Darren tells them the story of the killer turkey which apparently has been very much written about and they're in the area so don't know why they didn't hear about the turkey until now. You, you're trying to tell me that you don't know what Krawberg is? This is not really a movie for logic though. And of course, one of them ends up seeing the killer turkey and they kind of don't believe her. And then the killer turkey starts slowly trying to hunt them down. As our hillbilly character kind of tries to hunt the turkey. So you get kind of like a triangle here. Slowly, one by one, each of our main characters get killed off in semi-comedic ways. Like one of them involved the turkey having sex with them before he did it and stuff. You get some more crypts throughout all of this and... One of the best scenes in that whole movie is when they decide to finally go and try to kill the turkey. They gotta get a book from one of the characters' dads, who of course has to be a sheriff. A lot of tropes being used here. And 
the Toki already killed him and he is wearing the face of the sheriff in the worst disguise ever and they all believe he is the dad and it's, it's just great in my mind. Oh, uh, hello sweetie. How are you? Daddy. But basically during this, they discover how to kill the killer Toki, which is, of course has to be a convoluted way. They have to get the talisman, which they end up getting after discovering the Toki is not the dead. Which then leads to them kind of separating with one of the main characters who I believe's name is Billy, ultimately leading to his death as well. But the remaining characters, they go and try to kill the Toki in his teepee. The hillbilly shows up and they kind of think they succeed in killing him only for the killer Toki to not be dead because they didn't complete the ritual properly. More fun ensues and eventually they do stop the killer Toki. I do believe like one or two characters die at this point but that is all really for the base of the movie. It was a short movie at only about 70 minutes I believe. Overall, even though the budget was very low, the concept was not good. As I said, the movie really capitalizes on the fact that it's not supposed to be good and that's what makes low budget horror movies like this so good is when they know they're being ridiculous and that it's not supposed to be good like the Toki I believe he only comes back every 505 years like they make it the weirdest thing ever and it is glorious they definitely do a great job at just trying to make it into a just a fun interesting watch and I've seen a lot of weird low budget horror movies and the best ones are definitely the ones that know how to capitalize on just the right aspect of the goofiness and make the movie bad in a good way without taking away from the viewer's enjoyment. I highly recommend this movie. I know it's a little bit past Thanksgiving but I really found this movie entertaining and I just had to release my review on it. Overall, I'm gonna give this movie Three gravy flavored condoms. An extra small gravy flavored condom. It's the only review fitting of this glorious movie. Make sure to just check it out next Thanksgiving season. Hell, go and check it out now. It is a great movie. I highly recommend. If you want to see me do more reviews, make sure to like and subscribe down below. I might have been the Raven, and make sure to have a good night. By the way, if you did like this video, the next review will probably be on the Ginger Dead Man. I've been waiting to watch this movie, so let's hope to get this one out soon.